रेस्पेक्टेड प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ऑनरेबल गवर्नर श्री मोहम्मद आरिफ खान जी आरिफ मोहम्मद खान जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर श्री पिनराई वेजियन जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ केरला ऑनरेबल एम पी डॉक्टर शशि थरूर जी डिग्नेटरीज प्रेजेंट ऑन दिस वेरी हिस्टोरिक ओकेजन नमस्कारम आसम सकल वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू दिस फंक्शन फ्रेंड्स टूडे आर Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has flagged off Kerala's Vande Bharat Express in this beautiful land of Kathakali, Kalarai Pattu and Ayurveda. Today a new attraction has been added as the young people of Kerala will say Adi Poli, Adi Poli Vande Bharat. So to the to the adipoli vande bharat now you have a adipoli travel experience so i thank honorable prime minister for giving this wonderful gift superb gift to the people of kerala friends as you are very well aware the train is designed for 180 kilometers per hour train has a life of about 35 years as we move as we go forward we will be increasing the speed of the railway tracks how does it happen most of the tracks in kerala there is a very curving kind of route so most of the tracks are having a speed limit of 80 or 90 km per hour so what we will do we will be installing world class signaling system we'll change the track geometry at many places we will be removing the curves and straighten the tracks with all these improvements the train should be able to run at 110 kmph in the next 18 to 24 months but that is not sufficient kerala is a long coastline we should be able to move from north to south and south to north at a very good speed so what we will do honorable prime minister has sanctioned 381 crore for increasing the sectional speed to 130 kmph and 160 kmph complete detailed survey is going on for this and within next 36 to 48 months we should be able to increase the sectional speed throughout the stretch of kerala and within next 48 months from trivandrum to mangalore should be done within 6 hours trivandrum to kasargod should be done within 5 and a half hours this is a great boon for the people of kerala because the entire state runs north to south and the entire state is like one continuous population so the people will be able to move from one place to another at a very good pace we will be equipping this entire section with kavach which is a world class automatic train protection system so with all these improvements kerala will get world class train services friends honorable prime minister always believes in sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas and sabka prayas achieving upgradation of this level will require lot of support from the state government honorable chief minister has been very kind i have requested him and he has kindly agreed that there will be full cooperation i once again request honorable chief minister to give full cooperation for this upgradation project friends we must remember one thing from 2009 to 2014 period a state as important and as educated as highly aware as highly intellectual as kerala was getting only 370 crore rupees for railway development such a large state 3 and 1/2 crore people only 370 crore allocation was there when prime minister modi ji took responsibility of the country in 2014 what did he do first thing he did was immediately doubled the allocation for kerala then it tripled it then it quadrupled it 
and friends i am very happy to share with you this year prime minister has given 2033 crore rupees for kerala's rail development it's a massive jump what was 370 crore and see 2033 crore this entire allocation will go in overall development of railway facilities in kerala a total of 34 stations are being taken up for developing them as world class stations i can read out the entire names but i'll read only the big stations kollam arnakulam arnakulam town tiruvananthapuram kolikod varkala chengannur thrissur practically every major station of kerala from north to south is being taken up for development as world class and i must tell you must share you a secret with you when we started the development of railway stations we thought that okay let us build a very modern kind of building let's do this that but honorable prime minister gave a vision which is for next 50 years he said whatever you design today whatever you built today should be able to meet the needs of our people for the next 50 years that is prime minister's vision for railway that is prime minister's vision for kerala so friends every station that we are building will keep its own heritage and cultural values in place intact and build a world class modern airport better than airport kind of railway station so if you take the case of tiruvananthapuram station tiruvananthapuram central has a very unique architecture don't you think so tiruvananthapuram central has a very unique architecture so how do we now construct a world class railway station while maintaining this unique architecture so we have taken up that challenge deployed best of the architects and with that vision of prime minister we are rebuilding all the stations within next 3 to 4 years you will see that the railway facilities within the state are practically world class comparable to any other place in the world comparable to europe comparable to japan comparable to any place in the world lots and lots of projects have been taken up friends total projects worth about 10000 crore rupees investment is happening in kerala lots of sections where capacity is required doubling work is going on multi tracking is going on between tiruvananthapuram to kanyakumari arnakulam to kumbalam that way practically from north to south everywhere doubling and multi tracking is going on now what is more important how do we preserve the culture of kerala and how do we present that culture to the entire world honorable prime minister gave the concept of one station one product so in one station one product on the station we build a small nice very compact stall and all the local products are sold there so for example in kerala honey pickles spices cashew coconut oil all these places are all these items are today available at 35 stations where people are buying and the average income average income of the people who are deployed on these one station one product stalls is about 30 30 35 000 rupees a month so that's a very big move where the culture and employment are connected friends this is about railways in the world of digital technologies our prime minister has totally totally changed the country's landscape in the last 9 years how many of you of you are using a smartphone raise your hands smartphones practically everybody 10 years back how many of these smartphones were made in india just about 1% or 
Today, all the telephone, all the smartphones, take your smartphone and show it. Take out your smartphone and show it. Show it like this. And if you can put a flash on it, flash, put the flash. Thank Prime Minister because of his Make in India program. Today, 99% of the mobile phones are made in India. 99% of the mobile phones are made in India. Mobile phone industry is today employing about 10 lakh people. 10 lakh people. The export of mobile phone this year is 11 billion dollars close to 1 lakh crore. Imagine that is the power of a visionary. When a visionary takes responsibility for a sector, converts that sector into a totally transformed new sector. That's the power. How many of you have used uh, payment system on mobile phone? How many of you have used Paytm? How many people have used it? Paytm? Raise your hands. Paytm? Phone pay? Bharat pay? Practically everybody has used payment system. Now I'll tell you a small narrative. Very recently, some very rich countries, ministers who meet, they ask how in India Prime Minister presses a button and the money goes directly into people's account. People are so curious about it. World's most developed countries, rich and prosperous countries, they have to write checks. They have to send the checks by a post office mail. And if the person has left that home or gone somewhere, the check is lying in the post letterbox. Imagine. And here in India, our Prime Minister created the Digital India Program 2016 and today a single pressing of the button and whatever amount has to be transferred, it goes straight into people's accounts. That is the power of Digital India and that is the way our future is getting built, friends. Our youth today, when we ask them, the first thing they say is our future. That is what is getting built in the digital India. Imagine just 10 years back, there were only 400 startups in the country. Only 400, 500. Today, 90,000 startups. 90,000 startups. So much energy is there, so much confidence is there among the youngsters that that is the foundation of our country, friends. This is the confidence which leads to development of new technologies like Vande Bharat, new technologies like India's own 4G, 5G technology stack. And India is today ranked as one of the fastest rollout of 5G technology. That is the power of Prime Minister's vision, friends. And that vision is getting reflected into Kerala's development. I thank Honorable Prime Minister for everything that he is doing for the country and for Kerala. Thank you very much. Namaskaram. Nanni.